And uh, we got lucky, my wife Holly and I, and we found this place, about 150 acres on the Duck River, to, uh, to share music and nature with people. And it's amazing to me that um, things like this can happen, you know. Like, I'm 45 now, I started playing the bass guitar when I was about two years old. And at two years old, you can't see something like this. You know, you don't know what's going on when you're practicing, you know, a piece of wood with some strings on it. You don't know what it's attached to. And now, uh, I see quite a few people from the, from the camp that have, have been through the camp. And I, I met a young gentleman that's going to be at our camp on Tuesday that we have going on. But one of the questions I've been asking people lately when I get a chance to work with musicians is, I ask a lot of people how many people want to be professional musicians, and a lot of people raise their hand. My next question is, why? You know, and of course everybody has the answers, I want to whatever, whatever, but if you think about it, what does the world need with another good guitarist? We got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> so think about it, why do we need you? <laughs> but how, how many of us actually think about that, that answer? I didn't think about it when I was growing up. But because, you know, and I'm, of course I didn't get here by myself, but with a lot of help, I, ex I excelled at playing a bass guitar. And because of it, we're going to have some cleaner water. To me, that's amazing. And I'm not stroking my own ego. I'm saying that as a, maybe a wake-up call to all of us to excel at whatever it is you do. It doesn't have to be significant in the beginning. It can be as small as you want it to be. It can be as small as some of those critters on that post. <laughs> but some of those critters in a few more years may be extinct. And that may not mean too much to us right now. But in a line, I don't know why I'm talking about this. I'm supposed to be playing music. <laughs> but when we think about, you know, animals becoming extinct, most of us don't even think about it. But extinction follows a line. And I'm not going to go heavily into it, but all I'm going to say is that we are in that line somewhere. Most people think we're at the end of it. I would tend to disagree. I think if we reach the point that we become extinct, there's going to be some stuff still here. They'll probably be happy that we're going. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but it doesn't have to be that way, right? So um, I want to thank the rivers of the world for driving all the way out to Tennessee to the Duck River and uh, taking samples of our river and uh, giving us ideas on how to even make it cleaner. Showing us uh, there was different, different places where uh, the, uh, our bank is being eroded away and we're about to lose one of our cabins there. They gave us some good ideas on how to protect it. I really do appreciate that. So anyway, more importantly is uh, whatever it is that you do, the whole world doesn't have to know about it. But what you are doing is affecting the whole world. So excel at it. Thank you, Dick. Super joy. Appreciate it.